Hello friends today I am going a review an action adventure or comedy movie The Suicide Squad well if you enjoyed the 2016 Suicide Squad movie then you will certainly enjoy the 2021 movie The Suicide Squad as well Why well simply put because it is the same kind of cheesy entertainment Writer and director James Gunn definitely managed to keep the movie up to par with the 2016 predecessor in terms of oddball characters, an outrageous script and an abundance of action. It should be said though that the 2021 The Suicide Squad is a step up in terms of graphic violence and sheer mayhem. For better or worse, then The Suicide Squad was rather bloody and gory. That was something I had not expected from the movie, but it was definitely something I welcomed to the movie, as it just felt rightly at place in the cheesy movie. The storyline told in The Suicide Squad is a no-brainer and very much reminiscent of the 2016 movie. So this is essentially a movie where you lean back, munch the popcorn, and just enjoy the action-packed ride. I can't claim that I was particularly impressed with the bad guy, villain or whatever you want to call a starfish of that size and magnitude. Sure, it made for some great spectacle of destruction, but the creature itself and the concept of it was just a bit far out there. But hey, then again, anything is possible in these movies I suppose. The characters in The Suicide Squad were colorful and bizarre to say the least. And that was something that I definitely enjoyed in this 2021 movie as they up the character gallery quite a lot in comparison to the 2016 movie. I feel that Harley Quinn played by Margot Robbie was a bit underplayed in this movie as her character wasn't really given enough time to show the usual level of wacky crazy that we saw in the other movies. The Bloodsport character played by Idris Elba was definitely one of the more detailed and layered characters in the movie and let's just be honest here Idris Elba was superbly cast for this particular role and performed it so well It was fun to watch Michael Rooker portraying the servant character in the movie despite of not having all that much screen time Then there was the King Shark character when I first saw him I must admit that I was ready to face palm myself But as the movie progressed, I must admit that the character grew on me, and he definitely was a good comedy relief in the movie. And of course, having Sylvester Stallone to do the voice was just great. I am not much of a fan of John Cena and his acting, but the character he portrayed in The Suicide Squad was actually a well-written character and one that felt very much in place in the movie. Having mentioned King Shark, I also have to mention the Weasel, played by Sean Gunn. Wow, what a character. He was something unlike anything I have ever seen on the screen, both in terms of appearance, mannerisms and what part he played in the movie. This character was just glorious. But I bet there will be a lot of people out there disliking the character. But to each their own. And it was really, really nice to see actor Joaquin Cosío in the movie, taking on the part as Mayor General Mateo Suárez. This guy seriously is a great actor and a much underrated one at that. He was so nicely cast for the movie and brought a lot of flavor to the screen. Visually then, The Suicide Squad is great. Of course it is great given it being a DC movie about anti-heroes. I must admit that I wasn't initially expecting all that much from writer and director James Gunn's 2021 The Suicide Squad, but it proved to be rather enjoyable and entertaining from beginning to end. I thoroughly enjoyed the movie. My rating of The Suicide Squad lands on a 6 out of 10 stars. If you like my review, please subscribe my YouTube channel and share this video with your friends. Thanks for watching. Take care.